You know, a few months ago, I'm scrolling through TikTok because I do a lot of history and technical stuff on TikTok. That's what populates my feed. And uh, a lawyer, Kristen Browdy, she popped up on my uh, on on my screen, and it turns out that she started to run a database collecting all the news from 50 states, from all the states in the country to determine which particular group of people are really bad for children, sexually assaulting children, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And as you know, right now, the right wing consistently would have you believe that Left-wing folks, uh, the liberals, the progressives, they are perverts and that they that we have to be careful with our children. We have to be careful with the books that these liberals have them read and all of that. Of course, recently, all that we've been finding is like, I mean, if you take a look at the chairman of the Republican Party in, in, in Florida, turns out that he was uh, he, he's on trial or uh, he's being checked out for rape. His wife and the woman that allegedly he raped, they were used to having threesomes. Uh, So these are our holy folks that, you know, want to be above everybody and try to control everybody's life, right? Lives. So it, it turns out that all these people that have been pointing fingers themselves are the ones who we've got to watch, not the trans. Not the cross dressers, not any of that. Listen to my friend, uh, lawyer Kristen Browdy, and then we'll take it on the other side. What do three evangelical pastors, one minister of the Nation of Islam, 20 Catholic priests, and five church employees all have in common? Well, if you're seeing me, you probably guessed it. They're all new names on the list of people who've made the news for sex crimes with children as victims. The first full week of the year adds 225 names. Our total is now 6,368 since mid-February of last year. If you're looking for actual groomers and pedophiles because some politician told you who they are, in the 47 weeks that I've been tracking these cases, 61 politicians have made the list. Three quarters of them, Republicans. They love to accuse drag queens and transgender people, but you know who isn't on the list? A drag queen, not a single one. And of the 6,368 cases, only four, six one hundredths of 1% have been transgender. And if you're asking why pick on Republicans, nine of the 10 states with the highest incidence per capita in our database are controlled top to bottom by Republicans. We did get some stunning numbers from one of those states, West Virginia. That's the state that ranks fifth worst in the nation in our per capita rankings. The West Virginia Child Advocacy Network says in the year between June of 2022 and June of 2023, it provided services to over 2,700 victims of child sex abuse. And that organization serves only 46 of the 55 counties in West Virginia. In one year, they had 2,700 victims from only a part of that one Republican-controlled state. And not one was a drag queen, not one transgender. So Republicans and anyone else who actually cares about kids or this problem, who is it that you're passing laws against? You can check the data, you can run through it yourself, sort it any way you like, It's all available for you to download at whoismakingnews.com. Now, hear ye, hear ye. Remember this, because this is actually pretty important. Uh, This this woman who went ahead and find all this data, she made sure to document it, database it, and give you the option to sort it, review it, and do it in whatever fashion you want just to prove that it's accurate. So go to her site, uh, whosmakingnews.com, and take a look at all the database of all the offenders that we have. And make sure as you do that, every single time 
a Republican tries to tell you we have to pass laws against trans. We have to pass laws against cross dressers. We have to ban books or whatever. Remind them that maybe the reason they want all these bans, et cetera, is not to protect their people against the progressives like myself and others, but to protect them against themselves. That's what it seems like. So says the data. We spend a lot of time deconstructing the news, trying to, trying to parse it into a form that everybody can understand. We try to find those little nitpicks where uh, it goes, it flies above the fray, etc. If you really like these videos that we do, I want to ask a big favor. Please go ahead, number one, subscribe to our channel, and number two, please join if you can. Thank you so kindly for watching. Keep watching. Please remember to share. We must populate the entire internet with our progressive message, a message that we know is what most Americans say that they want. So help us please join. <laughs>